Hello there and welcome back to another Luminar Neo tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change white into the color directly in Luminar Neo. Now I have tested many different techniques on how to do that. And at the end, I have came out with the one technique that is really easy to use and it's very powerful. So first of all, download the sample file by following the link in the description of this video, then import it into Luminar Neo. And if you're ready, we can start right now. Okay, so as you can see, we are in Luminar Neo catalog module and we are looking at the sample file we're going to be using for today's lesson. So let's select it and then move it into edit module by clicking on edit on the top of our screen or using E on our keyboard. Now the main tool we're going to be using for this technique is the toning tool in a creative section of our main toolbar. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be changing the shirt of the lady. So to do that, first of all, we need to select it. And the fastest way to do this is to go into the layers panel and right click on the original image. After this, we're going to click on duplicate layer. And with the new layer, with the duplicated layer selected, we're going to go into layer properties in our main toolbar, click on masking, and then select the mask AI. Now the application will scan the image and gives us a selection of different options we can select. As you can see, because it's a simple composition, we only have the option of human. So let's click on it. And that way we will quickly select the subject. After this, we can click on the arrow in front of the mask AI, which will bring us back to the masking. Here we're going to go into the mask actions and click on show. This way we can now see the mask. And what we want to do is to basically erase or remove the face, hair and the neck. We only want the shirt to be selected. So let's go into the brush. On the brush, let's make sure that we have erase selected as we're going to be erasing part of the mask. Then with the size, let's start with a big brush and with the softness, let's set it to 15. The strength should be on 100. And now let's quickly erase the part where we don't need to worry about any edges. So just very quickly, few seconds, that's this part gone. After this, we will need to zoom in. And to do that, we can use command or control on our keyboard. When we're using brush, we need to hold space bar to move around our screen. And now let's go back to our brush options and adjust the size. So we're going to bring it down to somewhere around 80. With the softness still on 15, we will now brush away these other areas. Now there is a one trick I want to show you, and that's using the shift on our keyboard. So let's make one click and that will create this little circle. Now I'm going to hold the shift on my keyboard and click somewhere else. And as you can see, the application will create a straight line between the two points. Let me show you one more time. One click here, holding a shift on my keyboard, click here and we have a straight line. That makes some parts of the removal a little bit easier. So let's just very quickly brush away these parts. If you need to make your brush a little bigger, just use the bracket keys on your keyboard to make it a little faster and brush away all of these parts. Now again, we need to zoom in a little closer. So command or control plus and navigate to these areas. So we're going to start right here. One click then hold the shift and another click here, then very gently brush away this part. And again, holding a shift and just making the whole selection a little easier. Now you want to make sure that you don't have any of these white parts poking out. So let's just hit X on our keyboard, which will bring our brush from erase to paint and gently brush back in these parts where there is a little bit of white. After this, again, hit X on your keyboard that will swap the brush and brush away more of the mask. So it doesn't need to be exact. However, you really don't want any of the white being standing out like this. If you make a mistake, just switch the brush to paint 
And don't forget that you can also use the undo and redo. Depending on your system, you can use command or control Z or command shift Z or command or control Y. Anyway, let's continue. Good, and move to this part here also, brushing away this. Again, if you want, take your time, make sure that it's perfect. However, it will give you a good idea on what we're trying to do. Once we finish, it's a good idea to zoom out and you can do that with Command or Control minus or also Command plus. That will fit the image into your screen. And looking at it, I think we're quite good for now. So we can come back to Layer Properties, click on Properties, and now we're going to be going down to the Creative section of our main toolbar and click on Toning. Once the toning open, we will start by increasing the amount slider to 100, and then we will start by adjusting the highlight. First of all, let's take the saturation slider and bring it all the way up. And as you can see, immediately we have adjusted the color of the shirt. Now, what you can do next is to go into the shadows and also increase the saturation slider all the way up. However, often when you increase the saturation slider all the way to 100, the results starting to look a little bit unrealistic. So to adjust it, you need to bring it down. Again, keep an eye on your image and see what works the best. I think actually somewhere around 50 is good. Now, if you like this pink, you're more than welcome to keep it. However, for us, let's adjust it. So we'll start by going into the highlights again and adjusting the hue slider. Once I start to push it around, you will see how the pink changed to orange, yellow, green, and continuing to blue. I quite like the blue actually, so we leave it there. Now looking at the number is 212, so we can key the same number into our shadows. You can use the slider or you can double click on the number and then use your keyboard to just key in 212. After that, hit enter. And now we have the blue in shadows and highlight. If the blue is a little bit too strong for you, you can go into the amount slider and bring it down and just get a little bit of blue tint or bring it back up and end up with blue. So this is how you change white into the color. However, there are a few more things we can do. So let's close the toning tool, go back up to essential section and open the color tool. Here you can go into the saturation and vibrance and you can adjust the saturation and vibrance of your shirt. So for example, you can increase the saturation. And when I do that, you can see how the color is much more saturated and stronger. You can also go the other way around. You can remove it if you want to, or you can also adjust the vibrance, which generally gives you a little bit more natural result. Let's just reset that by double clicking on the slider and then go into the HSL panel. If you can't see it, you just need to click on it. It kind of hides away and then navigate to the bottom where you're going to see the U shift. This is a great slider, which will allow you now to change the color. So now we have a blue, however, we can take the slider and let's say that we bring it down and it will slowly turn into the green, neon green, then even greener, yellow, orange, and probably end up in red. After that, you can also shift it the other way around and you can get purple, kind of purple, pink, and even more red and orange. To reset it, you double click on it again. And it's just another option on how you can really play around with these colors. So let's say that I would like a little bit more of the purple in the blue and I would leave it there. Again, you can adjust the vibrance if you want to bring it down a little bit or push it. But I think for me, somewhere around here. Good. Again, when you finish, you close the tool and we are pretty much done. Of course, that you could go back to the layer properties open the masking, use the brush, and really play around, especially around the mask here on the neck to adjust it to make it look as good as possible. However, I think for the method and technique, this will definitely give you an idea on how to do this. So to double check, let me show you the before and after. And this is really the easiest way on how you can change white into the color here in Luminar Neo. 
Now, before I let you go, I want to quickly remind you that this tutorial was powered by our Luminar Neo Summer Bundle. It offers over 780 new summer elements that will power up your Luminar Neo tools. Get it today for a little fee and receive high-definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs and presets. And to top it off, if you get it today, we will give you an additional presets and LUTs together with the whole bundle. To get this offer, make sure that you follow the link in the description of this video. And if you want to learn more about it and more about our other Luminar Neo products, head to our website, cleverphotographer.com. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website, cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar Gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.